and accuse all you people that make this thing look easy that you people said eh? I was thinking that I knew how to do this so I have watched maybe like 100 videos of this hey, for me to get there and I was just like so exhausted Hey, 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 Hi there, my name is Scott. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amomi aka Petite Diva and this channel is all about heck your skincare and a little bit of randomness. Yes, I am smiling now but ha! Honey! Yesterday was not funny. Oh my god. This video is about how I struggled to install this wig. Like this is my first lace front wig ever. If you watched my AliExpress haul, you know that I got this from AliExpress, and uh, it's a synthetic wig. And I explained that I'm not so much of a fan of human hair wig yet. I'm still trying to talk myself into human hair wigs. So I said I'll go from synthetic to virgin. Apparently, synthetic. Uh, virgin and human hair are three different things anyway yeah, I said I will start from synthetic and it is a good choice that I decided to start from synthetic because this list front wig was trying itself not me because I refuse to be tried by a wig so I would show you how I struggled to install this wig I don't know if it's the way it's supposed to be installed, but this is the way I'm going to rock it for now. Because uh, I don't have any option yet. I'll try and watch more videos and see if there are ways I can improve. I definitely am going to get more synthetic lace front wig because I don't give up. A wig is not going to be the end of my dreams of healthy hair. So, this video will show you how I struggled. If you want to see how I struggled, continue watching. If you want to see the pros and cons of this hair, then please keep on watching. Hold on. If you have not yet subscribed and you like content based on hair care majority of which are DIYs and I'm trying to incorporate product reviews and skincare and then some things like wig review or wig installation please consider subscribing by clicking on that red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side which will notify you anytime i upload videos and let me allow you to watch me struggle with this hair this is the wig in the bag and this is the wig out of the plastic bag it has um It has two combs in front and a comb by the back and it also has the adjustable strap and so I decided to brush it first before wearing it with the lace front in with the lace in front and it looked horrible. It was too full for my head. I I don't know if it was too full or I just do not know how to do it and so I decided to um, pluck it and that was the beginning of the disaster. Um, I decided to pluck it like I've seen with all the other hair tutorial videos or rather all the other lace front big tutorial videos. I brought on my dog clips, my rat tail comb and tweezers. So I had to partition the hair after combing it. Like remove the thin line of hair so that I would pluck from behind. I had seen that in some videos I said that made it look more realistic. I don't know. But that was the plan at first. 
So I decided to lock from behind the separated hair. At first I was going to do a lot on camera but I noticed that it was not possible so I had to pluck the hair out. I had to pluck the hair off camera. That was the amount of hair that was shed. So it was looking a lot more better in my opinion. I decided to use the razor comb to try and maybe tame the hair and also cut the release. Well, it was not working, so I got my hair scissors and then decided to cut the hair. So, I think this was a problem for me. I should not have cut it on the mannequin, I should have cut it on my hair. So, to make sure that it was more precise, I brought on my eyebrow trimming or shaving. I don't know what it's called, called eyebrow shaving something. I can't remember the name right now. So I cut the remaining of the list and put it on my head. And it's still looking awful. It was really, really looking awful. Um, I was not impressed at all. There was a gap in front. So I decided that maybe I should um, tighten the adjustable strap. And I bought it again, but it still looked awful. The front was, there was a fantastic gap in front. So I decided to get my elastic band and fix it from year to year. It was such a struggle. Okay, so day two. Let's try this again. Where's my brush? Okay, so I'm back. Let's do this again. I fixed or uh, I've attached the elastic band because as you saw, the front was a bit big. So let's see if it would um, work this time. I look horrible right ah! Oh wait To apply this um, freezing, I'm going to apply this freezing hairspray. Then try and stick the list to my edges on my head. Am I supposed to tie it? Okay, so let me tie it for a few seconds just for the tying sake. So. I'll allow this to stay for like five minutes. Okay, this is. Mm. Then I would. Come back. But this should be okay by now. Ugh. Welcome back guys, you saw that this struggle 
was real and I'm going to keep flipping this till whoa 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 okay no more flipping I was supposed to keep on flipping this thing and it's it but um, no more flipping ha huh. this week ah oh no I almost gave up I was tired have you installed weeks in two days but your girl does that because I was really tired. Ah, so now let's go into the pros and cons. Um, the pros, I like the way it looks. Um, it doesn't really look like too shiny. It is too synthetic. It's light. It's fluffy. It's really, really uh, not as. It's not. Synthetic, I know that synthetic, some synthetic are really like stiff, like they feel really stiff, the fibers are really stiff, but this is really soft as you can, I don't know if you can see, but it's really really soft, so I like that. I also like this color, this color is amazing, I think it complements my skin tone well, I don't know what you guys think, but I think so. I like, I like the way I look in it, I, I think I look... Um, Nice. I don't know. Maybe I might be weird out, or I might be too full of myself. But I really like this. I like the way it looks. I also like that it's light. It's not really full, full. I think there are different types of density, and this might be the light density. Um, but I like that it's light density when it is out, like when I leave it first. As you know that I am not going to be leaving my hair like this and be working on the mirror. It's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible. I might use my hairband and then also use this because you need that time. Since it's flying up and down, I don't, I don't have time for it on the road. But I do like this. I like the density. I, I was afraid I would be too full for my head because I have a small head. So now, the cons. Hmm. The cons. Hey! You people do not tell me. I don't know how they used to take hours to pluck hair. I was plucking it for hours, I've already said it, but I was plucking it for hours. I was so annoyed at the point. My goodness. What was all that? So for me, I think uh, if you want to get a lace front wig, you have to prep it well. I was just looking for something I would just put on my head and go. So I have to prep my hair and then I have to I have to apply gel on my head yesterday because of my hair because this place is looking very funky. So I was like, it's still I think I didn't get this well. So that's another con. I think I didn't I didn't get that part well. Then another con that I didn't like is that the way it, the lace feels very hard to me. I don't know, maybe there are other types of lace and this was the hard lace, maybe there's a soft lace. But I don't know, this felt really hard. It, this is how the lace is supposed to be there. Ah. Well, I'll me. Another thing is that this lace, this wig is not meant for small people's head like mine. Because it's until I put the until I put the elastic band before this place is looking well done or looking okay. If you if I can turn the back, you see that there's a space. But I'm trying. To, I'm using the back comb so that it doesn't feel very big on my head. But that's just basically the cons. The rest were my own issues. Like ah no no no, this thing was sticking. Ah, clocking was sticking. Ah, I didn't even know how to cut the lace. So that's another thing that I need to master. That's why I'm still going to buy more synthetic lace front wig so that I can keep practicing and practicing. So that by the time that I eventually venture into human hair and I'm spending like $100 for a wig, I will not go and mess it up. So that is all for today's video. I, I don't know if you guys would like it, but I just wanted to show you my struggles and accuse all you people that make this thing look easy that. You people said, eh? Italy was the nitty gritty truth, you know? uh -uh. I was thinking that I knew I have to do this thing, I had watched maybe like 100 videos of this. Eh, they for me to get there, and I was just like so exhausted. Any which way, I hope you like this video, and I hope you like me doing my hair like this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it encourages me a lot. If you like this video and you are not yet subscribed, Please consider subscribing by clicking 
and the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos such as this now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in my next video bye